Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and in this lesson we will be ordering irrational and rational numbers, taking a list of numbers in all sorts of forms and putting them in order from least to greatest. Let's go ahead and take a look at um, a couple of pieces of things that we will need to know before we can do this. First off, this list this is a list of numbers we call perfect squares. So the numbers 1, 4, 9, 16, for example, those are perfect squares. And when you take the square root of a perfect square, you get a nice even number. For example, the square root of 16 is equal to 4 because 4 times 4 is equal to 16. So these pieces of information you'll need to know and be familiar with before you can kind of move on to what you need to do in this class. Secondly, we need to know what irrational numbers we'll be working with. And this is a familiar list. I used the same list with my um, previous lesson on approximating square roots. So here are some examples of irrational numbers. Two, the square root of 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 24, 99, 115. Any of those numbers that are not perfect squares, if you take the square root of them, you get a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. All right. So that's some examples of irrational numbers. Now, what we need to do in this lesson is take irrational numbers like this and make them into a decimal so that we can compare them, an approximate decimal, so that we can compare them to other rational or irrational numbers and put them in order. To do that, we need to know the skill from our previous lesson on estimating irrational square roots. Let's quickly review that, and then we can go right into today's lesson. So estimating irrational square roots looks at this. You think about a number line with all the perfect squares in it, and we think, where does the number go? The number that we are looking at, the irrational square root, between which two other numbers does it fit? And then we say, when you put it in between those, where does it go? Closer to one end, closer to the other. Let me show you an example. If we're looking at a number like the square root of 111, we ask, where does it fit on our list of perfect squares? In this case, it fits between 10 and 11. See that the square root of 100 11 fits right between 100 and 121. So we set up a number line and we again ask ourselves, where does it fit on this number line? In this case, it fits right about the middle. Now this may look very familiar from what we were doing before on estimating square roots, but we're going to take it one step further and we're going to say, what decimal would that be? That would be about 10.5. A good approximation would be 10.5. So we need to look where it's actually located between the two numbers and make a decimal approximation of what that number is. That's what we're going to be doing with all of our irrational numbers so that we can put them in order. Let's do it. We are going to take this list of four numbers and approximate them and put them in order. To do that, we need to make all of them into decimals. So 27 over 2 means 27 divided by 2, and that will give us 13.5. 7.95 is already listed as a decimal, so we'll just write that one down. Now, the square root of 24 is the tough one. This is the one that we need to approximate. It's between 4 and 5, because the square 4 is the square root of 16 and 5 is the square root of 25. So it's between 16 and 25, therefore it's between the numbers 4 and 5. Now it's really close to the number 5 because 5 is the square root of 25. So you see the square root of 24 would fit in there really close to the end. So I'm going to approximate it as 4.9. On my number line, that's where it would fit, about 4.9. Another irrational number, a common one, is pi, and that's approximated at 3.14. So now we've taken these numbers and we've made them all into decimals, and we can order them pretty easily. 3.14, 4.9, 3.14, 4.9, 3.14, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9,
7.95, and 13.5. Now they're in order from least to greatest. And that's what we do when we're order, approximating and ordering a list of rational and irrational numbers. Let's do another one, one that will have a couple more square root questions for us to approximate, because that's really what this exercise is about. So let's go ahead and make all of these into decimals. You can pause the recording and try that one on your own. Try and get some approximate decimals on these. 32 over 3 is 32 divided by 3, which will give you 10.6 repeating. The square root of 82, this is between 9 and 10. 9 is the square root of 81, and 10 is the square root of 100. So it's between 9 and 10, and it's really close to the 9. It's just above the 9, because 9 is the square root of 81. So I'd approximate this one as 9.1. All right, and that's my approximation. I haven't done, used a calculator. I'm just making an approximate guess of where that would fit on a number line. The next one, the square root of 30. What's a good estimate for this one? It's between 5 and 6. 5 is the square root of 25, 6 is the square root of 36. So where does the square root of 30 fit between the square root of 25 and the square root of 36? I'd say it's right about the middle, so I'm going to guess, whoops, I'm going to guess 5.5 for that one. And then my final one is already listed as a decimal 6.838383 repeating. Now I have all of them in a decimal form and I can put them in order 5.5, 6.83, 9.1, and 10.6. Now remember, these 5.5 and 9.1s, those are approximate guesses. So if I wanted to fully put them in order, I'd probably rewrite them as the square root of 30, 6.83 repeating, the square root of 82, and 32 over 3, if I wanted to write them all in their rational form. Or not in their rational form, but in their most true correct form. All right, so that's how I would approximate and order a list of numbers. Again, the skill that we're learning on this one is, let me reiterate, estimating irrational square roots. You think of the number on a number line. What numbers does it go between? Which perfect square square roots does it fit between? And then where does it fit on there? Is it closer to one, closer to the other, or right about the middle? All right. Hopefully that lesson's been helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.